very passionate and I think I knew I was an artist since I was very young because that was a, a constant thing that I had to convince my parents. I try to be here very early, like I like when nobody's here. I've lived in different countries, you know, I come from Panama and, um, you know, Weirdly enough, Panama means abundance of butterflies. I didn't go to art school. I studied advertising and theater performance, but that was just really something that I just picked. I was, I went like this, this sounds good, creative, and I went for it. What is my process? Um, well, I think my, my I, I think starts with something that fires me up. When I paint, it's me and that canvas and I can write. It helped me was I could confess to my canvas what I was feeling. You know, I can put an intention in my canvas of how I want to feel or how I want somebody to feel. So all those things, you're like journaling. Embracing the imperfections in my work has really made my style. I really work with imperfections. Like I don't have a canvas that is perfectly gessoed. I don't even believe in that. You know, I, I believe that, that I make my own style. And one of the things that I love the most is that my canvas is not perfect. So that's how I start. That's where this whole thing starts. Why the butterfly? It just came to me, you know. The butterfly just came to my life. I saw it reflected on a piece of paper that I had painted, kind of like preschool paint. You know, you, when you paint something and you go like, you, you bend the, 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 the page and you go like that and there's like an image. It was an image of a butterfly and I like to like paint, like draw things that are, you know, I see images on splats and I draw them and I draw and I saw this butterfly and um, I outlined it and then I cut it and then I used it as a stencil and then when I used it as a stencil I was like, whoa, this is just, it embraced everything, it just made my art complete. Well, this collection is a collection called Joy Collection Ruby Edition. And it's a collection of ornaments that I do for every holiday. This is my second edition. And they're made of two different plexiglasses. One is a kind of like a color ruby dyed plexiglass. And then the other one is transparent. And then I put them together and I create the body with some special um, this medium that is um, is composed of two different um, two different. It's kind of like a glue that gives me the opportunity when it's almost drying to get a little bit of more texture. And when you see when you go back in the butterfly, you could see that it has like you know all these little textures. And then I cover that with glue for um, gold leaf, um, copper leaf. And I use copper leaf because copper leaf has health elements like nurturing your body. And I thought it was a good addition to, to my work. And also I chose the color ruby this year because ruby is about leadership, about confronting things with your whole power. So um, this is this edition. And I chose colors that, that I looked on like the different shadows of the ruby, you know, some of, the, some of it has like iridescence. Um, when you put the ruby in the light, it has these different kinds of colors. And it even has like these totally different colors like greens. And they're all signed. Each one is numbered. Like for instance, this one is number, I can't see now, 99 and the year and it has my signature. They come in these little boxes that says handle with love. It's like a little crate and it's a perfect gift. I believe that for me, the butterfly represents human beings and their process of evolution and transformation and their journey. Thinking about it, 
you know, how my life's been, yeah, I am that butterfly because butterflies have a metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. So um, I am, I, I started dancing, I went into music. So all those things strengthen my, my core. So maybe I am a butterfly. <laughs> You know, maybe I am a butterfly. <laughs>